I'm not talking about China breaching boundaries. I'm talking about the continent of Africa splitting into two. What if the world, as we know it, is on the edge of an irreversible transformation right before our eyes? Imagine hidden forces, mysterious and potent, quietly adapting a change beneath the surface, driving a wedge through an entire continent. In this journey, we invite you to explore the heart of Africa's untamed wilderness with us as we peel back the layers to reveal the truth behind this extraordinary transformation. Are you ready to unlock the secrets behind the earth-evolving tale that splits Africa into two continents? Let's find the reason for splitting Africa. The Earth's outer layer, known as the lithosphere, comprises large, rigid pieces called tectonic plates. These plates are in constant but gradual motion, propelled by the underlying semi-solid layer known as the asthenosphere. Their movements, though slow, hold immense power, giving rise to geological phenomena like earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and the majestic formation of mountains. One of the unique geological phenomena, known as the East African African rift system, ears. Here, three mighty tectonic plates, the African, Somali, and Arabian plates, engage in a dance of divergence. As these colossal plates move away from each other, the Earth's crust in the region undergoes a stretching process, ultimately breaking apart and unfolds to create a long valley, aptly named a rift valley, adorned with faults, fissures, and volcanic activities. Over millions of patient years, the tectonic plates in the East African rift system gradually moving apart. This movement ultimately expand the Rift Valley to expand. As the Rift Valley widens, a significant transformation awaits. The ocean will slowly encroach upon the region, birthing a new ocean basin between the parting plates. As this transformation unfolds, new continents and islands which reshape the very material of our world. This momentous event, often unseen by the world at large, will effectively cleave the African continent into two distinct land masses. It's a spectacle of geological proportions, yet surprisingly few are aware that Africa is experiencing a continental rift. This rift is a precursor to a continent breaking into two or more fragments. But why is Africa splitting up? What unseen forces are causing this ancient land to be cut up? The implications are profound, not only for the vast and diverse continent of Africa, but for the world at large. Moving back, in the year 2005, images and reports surfaced, revealing a continental rift under underway in East Africa. What is rift? A continental rift, a term denoting the separation or breaking apart of a continent into two or more parts, is a natural phenomenon that has shaped the world we know today. Every continent and island on Earth, in its current form, owes its existence to rifts and the movement of tectonic plates beneath the surface. To understand the current events in Africa, let's go back hundreds of millions of years to a time when the planet Earth was a singular, solid landmass surrounded by a vast ocean. This ancient configuration, known as Pangaea, marked the first chapter in Earth's geological story. Over eons, the Earth's outer crust underwent cycles of heating, cooling, and fragmentation, ultimately evolving into the continents, islands, oceans, and seas that grace our world today. The lithosphere, the Earth's outer shell upon which we stand, is composed of 15 to 20 tectonic plates in constant motion. Imagine that these plates as colossal, cracked pieces of a shell resting on the intensely hot sea of molten rock at the Earth's core. The temperatures of the Earth's core ensure that these plates remain in perpetual motion, either drawing closer or moving apart from each other. This tectonic shift is the force behind the dynamic changes on the Earth's surface. Have you ever wondered how South America's east coast seems to fit closely into Africa's west coast when looking at a globe? It's no coincidence. These continents were once conjoined. According to NASA's Earth Observatory, the Somalian plate in the east is making its eastward journey gradually distancing itself from the larger and older Nubian plate. The Somalian plate, the Somali plate, and the Nubian plate, or the African plate, are not alone in this tectonic waltz. The Arabian plate in the north is also part of this intricate choreography in the Afar region of Ethiopia, forming a Y-shaped rift system. This geographical separation is famously recognized as the East African Rift. East African Rift is a network of valleys extending approximately 2,175 miles miles from the Red Sea to Mozambique. The tectonic drama unfolds the splitting of the world's second-largest continent into two distinct entities when the Somalian plate was to fully detach from the Nubian plate. The prospect of such a phenomenon excites geologists and scientists alike. As the continental rift in East Africa 
continues to captivate our attention, let's learn about the geological ballet, the Somalian plate and its eastward movement away from the larger African plate. NASA's Earth Observatory sheds light on this ongoing, inexorable journey. The Geological Society of London provides us with a profound insight into this geographical marvel. The Somalian plate's separation from the African plate, an integral component of the East African Rift, extends as a significant chapter in Earth's geological history. If the Somali plate were to completely detach from the African plate, the consequences would be staggering. The division of the world's second largest continent. The excitement among geologists and scientists is noticeable as they examine the potential outcome of the Somalian plate's journey. If this tectonic waltz concludes with the complete detachment of the Somalian plate from the Nubian plate, Africa will undergo a historic transformation. As we stand on the brink of this geological spectacle, questions arise about the implications of such a great event. How will this division reshape the African continent? What impact will it have on the people, ecosystems, and global dynamics? Although South America and Africa parted ways hundreds of millions of years ago, the current geological narrative suggests a potential reunion of sorts, a division that, while not approaching in our lifetime, holds the promise of reshaping the African continent. The clean separation of the Somalian plate from the Nubian plate is a process that unfolds over an extensive timeline, taking approximately 5 to 10 million years. However, among this geological ballet, there is more than one believable scenario. A clean breakaway might not be a complete outcome. An alternative possibility involves the partial separation of the Somali plate from the rest of the continent. In this scenario, a new sea would emerge between the two land masses. The potential emergence of a new sea offers a transformative narrative for the countries involved. Eastern Tanzania and Mozambique could find themselves at the forefront of this geological shift, experiencing a separation that could alter the very fabric of their geography. Countries currently landlocked, notably Ethiopia and Uganda, stand to benefit from this tectonic drama. The introduction of a coastline, courtesy of the birth of a new ocean, could spur economic growth, unlocking fresh opportunities for trade and production. Ken McDonald, a marine geophysicist and professor emeritus at the University of California, Santa Barbara, postulates that the Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea would flood into the Afar region, creating a new ocean and, in turn, forming a distinct small continent in East Africa. As we observe this geological theater, it becomes apparent that the rift is not an immediate cataclysmic event. Reports indicate that while the rift is visible, its growth is slow, progressing at a rate of about a quarter of an inch each year. Ken McDonald's perspective emphasizes that, at this juncture, the process is akin to the gradual growth of toenails, a slow and steady transformation. The question of how these rifts form remains a subject of ongoing debate among geologists and geophysicists. A win-out model gaining prominence suggests an increase in heat flow from deep within the Earth, giving rise to thermal bumps in central Kenya and the Afar region of north-central Ethiopia. These bumps, visible on topographic maps as elevated highlands, are linked to the stretching and fracturing of the outer brittle crust into a series of normal faults. The dominant assumption points toward mantle plumes under the continent, areas where magma beneath the Earth's crust is hotter than the surrounding magma. The intense heat emanating from these plumes causes the overlying crust to melt and thin, resulting in the formation and expansion of thermal lumps. The consequences of this geological mechanism extend that widespread volcanic activity becomes a potential outcome, with eruptions flowing over large areas. These eruptions, often referred to as flood basalts, are a product of the lava erupting along the fractures of the bulges rather than from individual volcanoes. The lava then courses over the land akin to a flood, leaving a distinctive mark on the edges of the rift. These eruptions are recognized by geologists as critical moments in the stretching of thermal bulges occurring before the rift's gradual separation. These phenomena act as markers in the annals of geological history, narrating the story of the dynamic and ever-changing surface of the Earth. A conspicuous feature in the ongoing geological spectacle in Africa is the emergence of a rift valley, a lowland region formed when two tectonic plates gracefully move apart or rift. These rift valleys manifest both on land and at the bottom of the ocean, 
creating a captivating tapestry of Earth's dynamic transformations. Unlike river valleys and glacial valleys shaped by erosion, rift valleys are born from the intricate movements of tectonic plates. Many rift valleys find themselves entwined in the complex ballot of triplejunctions, where three tectonic plates meet at approximately 120 degree angles. In these instances, two arms of the triple junction may part ways, giving rise to an entire ocean, while the third arm, often termed a failed rift, or Aulakogen, becomes a rift valley. A notable example of this geological choreography is the birth of the Atlantic Ocean, originating from a triple junction in the Gulf of Guinea on the west coast of Africa. The arms of this junction formed the ocean, while the created rift valley known as the Benue Trough stretched through what is now southern Nigeria. Rift valleys extend their influence beneath the ocean's surface, dividing long mountain ranges in a phenomenon known as mid-ocean ridges. At these ridges, tectonic plates move apart, allowing magma from the mantle to swell up, harden, and form new oceanic crust. The northern mid-Atlantic ridge, where the North American plate and the Eurasian plate diverge, serves as a prime example, with the plates parting at a rate of about one inch per year over tens of millions of years. A close underwater counterpart to the East African Rift, the Great Rift Valley, stretches from the Middle East in the north to Mozambique in the south. Arguably the most well-known rift valley on the planet, the Great Rift Valley is a testament to geological dynamism. Boasting volcanoes, hot springs, geysers, and frequent earthquakes, it stands as a vivid illustration of Earth's constant transformation. Within the East African Rift's expansive canvas, two main branches stand out, the Western Rift and the Gregory Rift. Dotted with volcanoes from the Erta Ale in Ethiopia to Mount Kenya in Kenya, these rift valleys exhibit the profound impact of tectonic forces on the landscape. The Western Rift, also known as the Albertine Rift, or the Lake Albert Rift, harbors the East African Great Lakes, making it one of the most biodiverse areas in Africa. An essential feature within the Gregory Rift is the Afar Triple Junction, where the Horn of Africa straddles the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden in the Arabian Sea. At this juncture, the Arabian Plate, Nubian Plate, and Somali Plate diverge, creating a fascinating tableau of movement. The arms of the Afar Triple Junction continue to widen through seafloor spreading, with one extending into the Red Sea and the other into the Gulf of Aden. A noteworthy speculation arises as the Gregory Rift evolves. Could its tiny valley potentially become depressed enough for the Arabian Sea to flood it? The Gregory Rift unfolds as a theater of heightened volcanic activity, while the Western Rift boasts deeper basins adorned with large lakes and abundant sediments. Notably, Lake Tanganyika, the world's second deepest lake, graces this region alongside the impressive Lake Malawi, witnessing basalt eruptions and the active formation of cracks. Geologists find themselves in the East African Rift, not just for its visual spectacle, but to study how ocean basins form on land. Scientists can observe up close the slow formation of rifts in this active rift system, a phenomenon that is typically hidden by sediments or submerged underwater in other parts of the world. Rift lakes, formed when fresh water fills up these geological voids, become integral features of rift valley systems. One compelling example is Lake Superior, the world's oldest and deepest rift valleys, a remnant of a billion-year-old rift initiated by the North American Plate. The Dead Sea, in the Jordan Rift Valley, represents a unique facet of rift lakes. Though not the world's deepest lake, its depths and the surrounding geological complexity place it as the lowest land elevation globally. Unlike a true rift lake, the Dead Sea is part of the Dead Sea Transform, where tectonic plates interact in intricate ways, adding a layer of geological richness to this iconic body of water. Some of the world's most famous rift lakes are found in the East African Rift, known as the Rift Valley Lakes. Stretching from Ethiopia to Malawi, these lakes house an extraordinary array of biodiversity. Within the East African Rift's lakes, Lake Natron in Tanzania emerges as a shallow alkali-rich soda lake. Its mesmerizing red color, not a result of geological rocks but the presence of pink salt-loving bacteria in its salty waters, adds an artistic touch to the geological narrative. On the other hand, Lake Malawi, also known as Lake Nyasa, positions itself as the third deepest freshwater lake globally. Delving deep into the tapestry of the East African Rift Valley lakes, its basin emerges not just as a geological wonder but as a densely populated region grappling
grappling with its challenges. With a high prevalence of waterborne diseases, this basin, home to about 800 to 1,000 fish species, claims the title of hosting the richest fish species of any lake in the world. The very waters that sustain life also pose a health risks to the communities residing along their shores. As the East African Rift continues its transformative journey, its significance transcends geological curiosity. It has become a focal point for scientists, ecologists, and governments alike. The Rift's importance is underscored by its role in unraveling the mysteries of human evolution. Hominid fossil discoveries, including the iconic Lucy in Ethiopia, over three million years old, and the Turkana boy in Kenya, almost two million years old, have earned the Rift nickname the Cradle of Humanity. Experts speculate that the structure and evolution of the East African Rift created an environment ideal for life's proliferation. The Rift's presence may have made East Africa more sensitive to climate change, leading to alternating wet and dry seasons. This environmental pressure could have driven our ancestors to adapt through bipedalism and increased cognitive capacities. The East African Rift, with its vibrant geological activity, is not merely a subject of study but a potential powerhouse. The United Nations Environment Program is actively exploring a geothermal energy program, harnessing the Rift's volcanic and tectonic energies. By converting the underground heat into electricity through steam wells, this initiative aims to provide sustainable energy for millions, a significant step towards addressing the energy disparities in the region. While the prospect of harnessing geothermal energy holds promise, the very same Volcanic and tectonic forces present challenges. Rissing water levels and the discovery of oil around the lake is raised concerns about the well-being of communities in the region. The juxtaposition of scientific excitement and the reality of malnutrition and poverty paints a complex picture of the East African Rift as a source of establishment of new boundaries and potential changes in resource distribution that will necessitate adaptive measures. Infrastructure, such as roads and bridges, must realign with the new geography and populations residing near the rift zone may face the need for gradual relocation over time. Recognizing the inherent hazards and consequences, safety measures and proactive preparedness become paramount. Scientists, through vigilant monitoring of geological activity in the East African rift system, can provide crucial insights to navigate potential hazards. Strategic urban planning that avoids high-risk areas, such as those near active volcanic zones or along fault lines, can minimize the impact of future geological events. While the continental rift unfolds at a geological pace spanning millions of years, the human response requires a different temporal perspective. Governments and local communities play a pivotal role in disaster preparedness and response measures. Collaboration with neighboring countries and international organizations becomes essential to formulate joint strategies for monitoring, preparedness, and response, mitigating the long-term consequences of this geological phenomenon. Our journey into Africa's continental rift unveils Earth's transformative forces, showcasing the dynamic processes shaping our planet. Despite changes occurring beyond a human lifespan, comprehending these geological phenomena deepens our admiration for Earth's ever-evolving landscape. If this exploration sparked your curiosity, remember to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts below. Thank you for joining us on this awe-inspiring expedition. Stay curious and continue exploring Earth's mysteries until next time.